I know I haven't filmed in a long time or posted because um, college has been crazy. <laughs> so today I just wanted to kind of talk about Rush and give some advice because I know right around last year at this time I was the one looking up what do I do during recruitment blah 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 like uh, yeah that's all I thought about was oh my gosh what if I don't get into a house what if I don't get into a good sorority so I'm here to help you out a little bit so I'm just gonna be listing some things and talking about recruitment in general one of the most important ones is be yourself and being yourself is so important during recruitment because you don't want to end up in a house with girls who are nothing like you because you were being fake during recruitment, basically. So in the beginning of the week, you get someone called an RC, a recruitment counselor, and you're in a group with about 10 girls. It's all just sorted out in alphabetical order, and your RC is there to help you, and she's there to guide you and basically give you advice. Your recruitment counselors will also go over all the rules for the week. Something really important during recruitment week is it's called dry week. So no drugs or alcohol or partying or going out anywhere. Like you have to go to bed when you come home or eat and then go to bed or whatever. But you are not allowed to go out. You're not allowed to go like party. And weirdly they find out, like they will find out if you go out and party or go to a boy's house or whatever, that's a big rule. Another rule is during recruitment, when you're talking to a girl in a sorority, you are not allowed to talk about boys. You are not allowed to talk about partying, no drugs, no drinking, any of that stuff. It has to be strictly professional. Like a lot of the questions that I got asked from sorority girls were, oh, what are you majoring in? Or what dorm do you live in? Or do you like your roommate? What'd you do this summer? Just really like surface area boring basic questions. And you get those questions for the first two days. And then after that, it starts to get a little deeper. So at the beginning of each day, before you go to all the sororities, your RC goes over the schedule for the day. And usually you go to four houses, I think it was four, and then you have lunch and then you go to like two houses after lunch. So the first two days are just walking around and going to all of the sororities. And then when you come back for day three, you get a schedule and what houses called you back and you are in charge of your own schedule and what times you have to be at that house and you are not allowed to be late. A lot of girls got in trouble for that and you have to go to every house, even if it's a house that you don't really like or you're just kind of like eh about, you have to go or else you will not get recruited because they know, <laughs> they take attendance. So when you walk up to your first house, you get put in alphabetical order and you have little tags, it's called PNM tags and they say your name and your PNM number, potential new member. A PNM number is important because that's how the sorority girls know who you are basically. It's like your identification number. When you're standing in line waiting for the doors to open, it feels like forever and it is so hot. I can't even, this is disgusting, but I sweat so much that week. It was bad, it was so gross. And I walked into all the houses literally like, drenched. You're literally standing outside for so long. When the doors open, it's every door on the row. Everyone starts singing at the exact same time, but it's their own house song. They'll be bouncing and like in your face, like screaming about their house and in, in a song or whatever. Once they're done with their song, you get called up and you walk in with a girl and they're like, hi, I'm Skylar. Welcome to blah, blah, blah. And so you go in and you sit down and usually the girl you're talking to is on her, she's sitting on her knees in front of you or she's sitting to the right of you. And you just get asked the most basic questions ever. And after you talk to this girl about your major and what dorm you're in, or if you like your friends or roommate or whatever, where you're from, someone else comes and they say, oh, hi, like, what are you guys talking about? And then the girl you're talking to is like, oh, we're talking about friends. So then 
the girl you were talking to originally leaves and then you get a new girl. And this happens about three times in each house. So you talk to three girls basically in each house. Once you're done talking to your girls and it's been about a half hour, they start a new song and you leave. And then a good tip that my RC told me was after every house, either bring a notebook and a pen or type it in your notes and write what you thought about that house or what like you talked about and if you liked it because you talk to so many people during recruitment it's insane i literally learned how to talk to a brick wall like <laughs> you just have to talk so putting it in your notes or writing it down what you think about that house really helps because you forget so at the end of each day you meet up with your rc group and you put in order what houses you want back and in order for you to get them back they have to ask you to come back too so it's kind of like winning the lottery one thing that's important that i do remember happening a lot was hearing tons and tons of rumors and i know this isn't a lot of advice videos but do not listen to the rumors because basically all of them are false the most important thing about recruitment is you want to pick a house because you feel comfortable there and because you can walk around with no makeup on in that house or you just vibe with the girls. You don't wanna pick a house for your status. If you heard someone talking like, oh yeah, like Kappa 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 is the top house, so that's why I want it. And you don't have any similarities to the girls in that house, you're gonna hate it. Also, an important thing is it's okay if you don't get a house back that you wanted because odds are you weren't meant to be in that house. Also, at U of A specifically, Greek life is huge. Everyone thinks though that if you're not in Greek life, you basically don't have a social life, which is false. I have a lot of friends that dropped out mid-recruitment because they didn't get a house they wanted and which you should stay until the end, not do that, don't do that. But I have a lot of friends who did that and they were fine. They still got into parties and they still met tons of people because during recruitment week, you just talk to so many people. Like the two girls that were in my RC group ended up going the same house that I went and were best friends. Another thing that your RC will tell you over and over and over again, and you will hear it probably a trillion times that week, is trust the process and that recruitment is like speed dating. And those are the most true phrases that I heard all week. So for outfits, I know, for me, I was freaking out and I didn't know what to wear and I did. I wanted to stand out, but not inappropriately. The first two days of recruitment, you dress kind of casual, like sandals and a cute shirt and a cute skirt. One thing that I learned was do not wear jean shorts because your butt cheeks probably will come out from walking so long and it just looks unprofessional. It's not like a rule, like you're not allowed to wear jean shorts, but the girls I noticed who wore jean shorts, it just didn't look professional. It didn't look put together. So for my day one, I wore a skirt and a tube top and some sandals. And then for day two, I wore a skirt and a tank top. A jean skirt is okay, but jean shorts just don't look good. Day three, you wear a sundress and some wedges and maybe throw your hair up in a cute bun. It's a little more dressier. The fourth day is the dressiest day. You want to wear a jumpsuit, that's what I wore, and heels, and do your makeup really pretty, maybe wear some fake eyelashes. And the fifth day is bid day, which is when you find out which sorority you're in. You get a shirt, you sit in the gym, and your RC gives you cards, and you're not allowed to open them. You have to sit on them, they make you sit on your cards so you, they know you're not opening them. They count down one, two, three, and you open your card and you find out which sorority you're in. And once everyone figures out what sorority they're in, they call, oh, Gamma Phi Beta, um, Kappa Kappa Gamma, down each by name, and you go when they call your sorority. So then you get on a bus and you go to a random location. Ours was at some restaurant that they rented out, I think. I don't remember where it was. You just party, I guess. You go to the location and talk to a bunch of girls, take a lot of cute pictures, eat, dance, listen to music, yeah. So when you're going through recruitment and you're talking to girls, they will ask you questions that you will be asked probably 10 or 12 times. But one thing that I know I learned from one of these advice videos is when they ask you a question, 
don't just say like, oh, I went to Pennsylvania this summer or whatever. You should ask questions back. It makes you stand out. And the girls who are asking you questions and trying to learn about you, they've been asking everybody questions all day and they're just asking the same questions all day. So it's like, if you spice it up and like ask like, oh, like, what are you majoring in? Or what, where did you live your freshman year? Another question that I asked a lot was, how did you know that this was the right house for you? And I got a lot of different answers. Some people say that you have a feeling, you just get a feeling and when you know, you know. That didn't happen to me until I was down to my top two. And then that's when I knew, I was like, oh yeah, give me five beta. <laughs> When you're talking to girls, make sure you are making eye contact, make sure you are smiling and not acting like a miserable person. The girls in the house know it's hot. They know you've been walking around in your heels or your booties or whatever, but you cannot act tired. I know it is going to be hot and it is going to be tiring and you will lose your voice from talking so much. I never lose my voice. I've never lost my voice and I did during recruitment. That's how bad it is. When you walk into most of the houses, they give you a cup of water. Like I've been saying, it is so hot and you need to drink water. I remember thinking the first house that gave me water, I was like, this is awkward. I don't want to drink water in front of them. I'm scared. I don't know. I just was so scared and intimidated. It's not weird. They give it to you for a reason and you probably need it or else you probably will pass out because I heard many horror stories of girls passing out during recruitment because they didn't drink water and it is so hot. One big thing that I know is not a good decision and you should not do it no matter how confident you're feeling is suicide bidding. The suicide bidding is when you have your last two houses and you go in a computer room and you are supposed to put, I want this house first and then if they don't end up calling me back, then I want that house. So suicide bidding is you just put one house and if they don't pick you, then you're screwed. You don't, you're not in a sorority and you went through that entire week of hell for no reason. I think the most important thing during that week is to be yourself because you really don't want to end up in a house with girls who you don't get along with who are nothing like you and make you feel uncomfortable because that would ruin your four years of college yeah i loved my high school friends and i still talk to like three of them maybe but almost all of my friends are in my sorority so after recruitment and you find out what house you're in and you get a t-shirt on big day that like says like oh i'm in this sorority you get a backpack and a, just a bunch of cute little stuff and so on the first day of school you're supposed to wear your t-shirt i kind of thought that was weird because i was like i don't want to wear a t-shirt on the first day of school like i want to look good which is funny because now I only wear pajamas to class. It really helps and I'm glad that they made me do that because when you're sitting in class, you don't know anybody. The odds of you getting a class with somebody that you know are so slim. So when you walk into this giant class of like 300 or 400 people, it's nice to see like someone wearing the same shirt as you. You're like, oh, you're in my sorority. I'm gonna sit next to you. So yeah, that's basically it. That is recruitment in a nutshell. See you guys later.